There's a spot on this map where honestly, it's probably one of the best sniper spots of all time. And not only that, there's some pretty special animals today that we're about to find. Ooh, now that is a giant fallow. He's out there at about 350 yards right there. I don't know how we're going to pull off this shot, but we are definitely going to try our best. We got the soft points in now, so if we hit it, it should connect pretty well. Smoked him. Oh my god, was that an amazing shot. We literally took him on the trot at about 360 yards, but we definitely need to find that fallow buck. Or we could just find a freaking giant red deer stag coming in here, you know, or that too. Holy, is that a huge stag, a massive mythical out here. About 250 yards out. I'm kind of curious where he's heading to though, to be quite honest. Wow. Jeez, that's incredible. I mean, we could probably take that shot right there, but we also have a lot of opportunity to take the shot over here as well. And if he's going to stop somewhere over here and feed, I'd much rather know where that's going to be. But I've honestly never seen this many animals in this one location before. So this is pretty cool. All right. It appears our giant mythical is about to approach this opening here. And like I said before, once he gets to this dirt spot right here, we're going to be taking the shot. Right, there he is. Mm, he's about 220 out, so we should be able to hold pretty much right on the heart. We'll have a little bit of elevation to our shot. There he is. Alright, Stag, you better slow down. smoked him he almost got away on us but he's down right there giant stag wow is that thing massive so every time we were about to take the shot all of a sudden he ended up trotting and we couldn't quite get a shot off but we finally were able to connect on a shot another red deer okay so that might be where they're actually trying to get to right there got him he's 280 but the elevation it's basically like he's 220. We hit the side. <gasps> we hit the side. We weren't even crouched either. Man, that's a bit unfortunate. He's still there. How are we supposed to pull off this shot? That's an interesting question. Unless we're right here. Maybe that could work, I suppose. Alright, so now we should be able to take the shot from here without hitting that ledge. At least I hope so. Why oh, is so hard to see? Right there. Ooh, that's a hit. Alright, I believe our buck is about to step out right there. Yep, that's him gonna be about 200 yards this is gonna be a very very difficult shot here I mean we're talking tiny little pockets right through these trees and we better be ready oh, perfect smoked that worked out so perfect you guys he bedded right in front of us at about 180 broadside. We lined up on him and smoked him. All right, I'd say that's pretty good for this one location. I mean, we got a giant fallow, giant red deer, um, potential good sized kangaroo. I don't know if that kangaroo even went down. According to the hunting pressure, it did not. We also got a giant uh, feral hog out there as well. This lodge right here, Babe's Camper, and you just go south and a little west. It's this tower right here, Edith Tower. 
Get here around 6.30 in the morning, and it's going to be golden. Oh my god. What did we just find? Look at this. Look at this. A dime potential soundbar deer. An absolute beast of a soundbar buck is right there. Oh. He's huge. I mean, I've never seen one that big before. So what we're going to have to do is get higher up here. We were actually just about to get down and go pick up the rest of these animals. And we spotted that thing. Yeah, we got to get way up in order to see out there. At least we know where we spotted him, right? Yeah, right there. Actually, that's pretty much the exact same location that we took down that giant stag, the red deer as well. So yeah, he should be over there. Now the sambar, I believe you can use the 308 or the 22250. The hog deer. No way. He's bedded right there, 250 yards away. Oh my god. Well, we know where he's at. Right here. We do see him. I think the higher up we get, we actually may get a better angle for the shot. Because I do believe he is quartering away, which is awesome. But there's some brush obstructing the vitals. Oh. Now this is not one of those things where we're just going to take a shot. This has to be perfect. Because I've never seen one of these before. He's quartered just a little bit too much to get lung. Got a female laying there too. I think even if we get higher up, it's not really going to help us much. Unless potentially we swing more to the right. In which case that could give us a little better of an angle, but again. Oh, I tell you what, I kind of got an idea. Yeah, we're going to take a shot over there and just see if we can't get his attention. About 250 yards out, hopefully we don't hit it, of course, but... That should get his attention. Uh, not quite close enough, apparently. Oh, there's some right there too, look at this. Another soundbar. Well, we might as well spot these real quick. Ooh, a nice one there. Okay, I don't want to lose that one it's a giant I mean obviously this thing's even bigger but it's still pretty big I'd love to take that shot from here with the bow but it's just not really possible hmm what if what if we did something like this what if we took the 22250 and took a shot on him. Then maybe. It just might work. Wait till he turns broadside. Smoked him. Oh my god, you guys. We got our first giant dime potential soundbar deer down. I don't even know how to explain what just happened. I mean, you guys saw. We took a shot at that kangaroo. Didn't quite connect. We were just getting ready to leave and pick up some of these animals. And we're running down just like this. And I heard something spooking. So I looked over, spotted it, and it was a giant five medium sambar deer. All right, we took down the hog deer right here. And he's actually... Wait a second. Where did this hog deer go? 
Because I saw... Oh, he's right here. No wonder why we couldn't see him. He's actually piled up in this brush. And then our massive mythical red deer stag is piled up right there. There we go. All right, so here we go. Our big hog deer is going to be an 89.82 gold, and that may be our biggest hog deer yet. Took him at 180 yards as he was bedded out there, but a big old hog deer is down. All right, so we got our red deer piled up right over here, and he's laying right here. Man, look at the rack on that thing. I ended up getting a double lung liver shot, 260 yards on the walk. And it's going to be a 226.24 gold. Massive red deer stag. But take a look at that shot placement there. You can see we're pretty high up. We did get a good bit of drop, but in all reality, it just missed the heart a little bit far back because it was walking. But the fact that he was quartering away like that, and we hit pretty much everything possible from that one angle, I'd say that was a pretty epic shot. Well, we found our fallow piled up right there. Massive fallow is laying right there. And I believe our hog should be down here as well. It was a long ways out there. It was a chocolate sweet. Took him at 360 yards on the walk. Now remember, we only zeroed for 320, and we were holding for right on the heart. But because it was so far out and we're so high up, it kind of made up for it. Like, look at the bullet uh, rays on that. I mean, you can see just like the arc from how high up we were during that shot. So we actually did get a ton of elevation and hit that thing right on the money. Sweet looking massive chocolate fallow as well. Look at what we just found. One incredible diamond potential fallow. He's out there about 150 and he is walking, but hopefully he slows down. All right, he's not gonna slow down. We may have to take him on the walk. Did he stop? There, there he is right there. 150 yards. And there he goes. We took him with the saw points. I really want to see how they did. All right, let's find out how big it is. With the estimate, I mean, it's definitely diamond potential, but I'm not guaranteeing it's diamond. I haven't really seen a five medium that didn't make diamond, but this rack, I just don't know. That's probably because it's not a diamond. <laughs> 240.51. That's what that was. Nice double long shot. But yeah, it is not a diamond. Still a giant. 240 plus on a fallow is an absolute giant. All right. Here's the one we took down with the 22 to 50. And it's pretty big. Thank goodness we did not use a 22-250 on that giant soundbar deer. So that was a 141.95. Pretty big. We need 166 to be diamond. All right, let's go over here now and take a look at this massive five medium diamond potential soundbar deer. And our biggest one of all time. There he is, guys. Holy, there he is laying right there. All right, we got some really good blood right here. And he's piled up right over here. I guess I didn't realize the size of these animals. You know, I thought that they were kind of similar to the hog deer, where you could actually use a lower caliber rifle, but apparently I'm wrong. But look at this. I mean, it literally looks like a friggin' elk mixed with a mule deer. What an incredible animal. Wow. That is a giant. All right, well, now that we got some cool pictures. <laughs> it's gonna be a gold. <laughs> oh man. Still by far our biggest soundbar deer of all time. Not only that, it's a dusky. 
162.10 and we needed 166. Ooh. What an amazing but yet super lucky shot. 270 yards on the walk. Now the shot was perfect, yes, but if it took one more step forward, we would have gotten intestine and I don't think we would have gotten liver. Unless is that liver? Oh, never mind, that is liver. Okay, yeah, so it would have been straight liver. We would have been fine either way, but if it took two steps forward, we would have got further back and that would have been intestine. But even though he didn't make diamond, it's still a pretty sweet soundbar buck and I'm super happy to have him. And that's gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the comments and the feedback. I appreciate all you guys. And we'll see you next time.